So today what I want to do is I want to re-hook up all the power that I had. I used to have a power box in the modular setup and now I have this, this closet in my cabinet. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of my closet and my clothes would just kind of hang over it. So it'll kind of look like that. Not a big deal. So I cut this board right here and I'm going to mount this board like that and that's going to be my power panel where I'm going to put, have my plugs and the power indicator and things like that like I had in the in the modular version. And one nice thing about AGM batteries is that you can lay them on their side so I'm going to lay it on its side so it takes up a little bit less height from my closet so my clothes don't hang over as much. So I got the, the terminal board hooked up with the power switch or not hooked up but mounted and now I'm going to need to hook up the wires. All right, so if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, you see I have this this charge connector here, a regulator that's connected to the solar panels. And I'll show you the solar panels in a second. And I have that connected to the batteries here, the power panel. This will switch it on and there's a meter right there. I'll show you the meter. Okay, so there's the meter, it tells me how much volts I have. Here's also another accessory, cigarette lighter. Okay, so in addition to that uh, cigarette lighter port, I have another one that I have right here that's connected straightly, straight to the battery. And, and it doesn't go through the switch. And the reason is, uh, this is my refrigerator port. And I just plug that in when I wanna turn on the refrigerator uh, to be charged by this, to be run by this battery and the solar panels. Um, but the reason why I don't hardwire the refrigerator to this battery is because up here, up here, there's also a port that connects to the car while it's driving. So if I'm on a long trip and I, I want to recharge the battery and not use it at all for my refrigerator and have a full battery by the time I get to the, my campsite, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the refrigerator through the car while I'm driving. So I want to be able to do that really easily and both the ports are right here so it's nice and simple. So when I'm not showing you guys what it looks like, everything will just sit like this. Sit nice and flush and what I'm going to do is... All right, so when, when I'm not maintenancing the batteries or anything like that, I need to get to it. I'm just going to leave that cover on right there so it looks clean and my clothes will still hang without dangling over the batteries. And let, let me show you um, the solar panels. Well, the wiring from the panels comes through this board right here. It's got to click in. And then it comes out over here. And I route it up and over and there I have my solar panels up here let me climb up and show it to you there you go so it sits really nicely in this this uh this top tray thing uh, it looks like it was made for it but it wasn't I just got lucky it fits perfect and no one even knows I have panels up there so it's pretty stealth All right, next I need to hook up the power inverter and this is where I mounted it to the side right here. Fits in pretty nicely. And yes, the door can close, no problem. There's just a little bit of space left between uh, the inverter and the lift gate. So I'm gonna route the wire along the back and then hook it up to the back. Some wires and now I'm gonna put on the shrink wrap. the wires coming around the back all goes in nice and neat um, back on the cover and that's the way it'll look